What's up gamers? I'm here today to help you install Spruce OS on the Miu A30. The Miu A30 is one of my favorite devices of 2024, but it came kind of broken with that stock OS. And Spruce really does fix all of the issues that the stock OS has. It's not an actual OS itself, it's a modification of the stock OS. And it's really simple to install and totally worth your time to do so. So if you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And without any further ado, let's get into it. So what you'll need to install this are obviously a MIU A30, you're going to need a computer, and you're going to need an SD card, a new branded SD card. I use Lexar cards. I buy them in these three packs on Amazon. They're about 12 bucks. I'll have an affiliate link in the description below if you're interested in that. But really, any name brand card from a reputable store or site will do just fine. You're also going to need a micro USB card reader. I'm using one from Anchor. Your computer might have one built into it. I'll have an affiliate link in the description for this in case you need one. And this is really important to note. I do not recommend you use the card that came with your MIUI. A30. It may look something like this. These generic cards end up failing over time and you lose all of your game ROMs and all of your save files and you just end up with a headache. It's best to replace it with a name brand card now. However, that being said, I do not recommend throwing this away. Just keep this. Store it in a safe place as your backup. That way you know that somewhere you have a card that still has all of your games on it and all your BIOS files and things like that. So replace it, but keep it in a safe place. So once you have all the stuff you need, you're going to go to your computer and you're going to type in your your search engine Spruce OS MIU A30. And oh look, it's me in my review. <laughs> I'll link that right up here in the corner so you can check it out. Uh, but anyway, you're going to find the GitHub page for the releases. You're going to go to that. You're going to find the latest release here. It's version 3.1. And if you happen to end up on this page first instead, you're just going to scroll down uh, past a few of these things to where you see download the latest version and then click here for the latest version. And it's going to take you to this page here where you can get version 3.1. That's that's at least the latest version right now when I'm recording this. It's going to tell you all about the changes and stuff that they've done. And one of the coolest ones, my personal favorite one, is that after you update to 3.1, all the future updates will be over the air. I am so excited about that. So you're gonna go down to downloads and you can do this a couple of different ways. Maybe you've already been using Spruce, an older version. You can update from a pre 3.0 or a 3.0 version right here by just downloading this and replacing the files on your SD card. But if you need to do a fresh install, which is what I'm going to show you today, you're going to click fresh install and it's going to download. You'll even see that they have a wiki page with instructions, which you can also go to. It's going to talk about formatting the card. That is the first thing you're going to have to do. It's another reason, again, why I say take that generic card, put it somewhere safe. Don't format that card because then you're going to lose all of the game ROMs and all of the BIOS files. Just keep that as your backup and put everything on a new branded card. So actually, while Spruce is downloading, um, you can go ahead and put your card in your computer, in your card reader. It's really not that different. Mac or Windows on both, you're going to format the card to FAT32. And then you're going to extract all of the Spruce files and put them on the card. That's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and do that. On Windows, you can do that a couple of different ways. They recommend downloading Rufus. You can, I believe, last time I was formatting something on Windows, I just right clicked on it and there's an option to format it. And you can format it to FAT32 in a non-bootable drive. So on Windows, you'll use Rufus. On Mac, you'll use Disk Utility. On Chrome, you're going to use the Files app and right click and hit Format Device. On Linux, you're gonna use the standard Disk Utility on Ubuntu. So on Mac, you just open your Disk Utility tool. You go to your SD card, which is this one here for me. I'm gonna click Erase. I'm gonna name this Spruce OS and I'm going to change this to MS DOS FAT and then click erase. And again, formatting your card will completely wipe it clean. So if you have anything on there that you want to save, make sure you make a backup of it before you format. And before too long, you should see a green check mark of some kind, um, something saying successful or finished or whatever like that. I'm going to close out of all of that. And then I'm gonna to go to my finder. And for me, I'm going to downloads and I'm going to extract Spruce version 3.1 zip just by double clicking. 
and it's going to extract that right here and here you're going to see you know all these different folders and files and then all i need to do is hit Control a to select everything and i'm going to open another tab i'm going to go down here and select my spruce os sd card and i'm just going to copy all of this right over onto my spruce os card now if you made a backup of your original card or if you still have this card intact what you can do then is copy and paste your bios files into your bios folder on your new card and you can also copy and paste your roms onto your new card and that'll be the last step we're going to do here as soon as this finishes copying the spruce os files so now i'm just going to go into the backup that i made and i'm going to copy all of these all of these bios files i'm going to go to my bios folder on my new sd card and i'm going to paste all of that stuff right into this folder and there are quite a lot of them so it might take a minute or two now that that's done i'm going to go to my roms folder from my backup and this is where all my games are stored for example you can see here i have my famicom games 720 degrees for example uh, all of these games are in specific folders named for specific systems and the games have to go in the folder of the system that it originally ran on. So if you're putting any new games in there, you've got to make sure that you put them in the right folder. But again, we are just going to select everything. I'm going to hit copy and I'm going to go over here to my new card and it's probably going to ask me if I want to replace everything and I'm just going to say yeah, man, I want to replace all of it because <laughs> all of these folders are empty. So we're just going to replace all of those. And this one really is going to take a few minutes because it's um, like, in my case, uh, 20 gigs worth of stuff. All right. And then on Mac, the last thing that they recommend doing down here is to use an app like Clean Eject because there are on Mac, it does put some dot files which is kind of frustrating. Uh, some OS's, some custom firmwares will actually delete this for you. They have a tool built in. But I'm going to go ahead and open Clean Eject and I'm going to select Spruce OS and hit OK and hit Allow. And we should see this ejected. Once that has been ejected, I'm going to remove it from the computer. We'll place the SD card in the MIUI A30 and turn it on to see our results. And there it is. You can see under Settings, Device Info that we are running Spruce 3.1 under apps we now have a box art scraper which is awesome a random game selector also an easy updater app for those over the air updates in the advanced settings app you can now turn off the blue led they have a blue light filter you can turn on and off a recent section in the main menu change the rumble intensity have it automatically check for updates i mean there's all kinds of settings you can change in here all in all this is working great if you want to use the game switcher you hold the home button on top for just like two seconds it buzzes real quick at you and then it will open up the game switcher where you can switch between games from your last save point pretty awesome so again if you've got a miu a30 there's nothing better you can do than to install spruce os 3.1 or above i hope you found this helpful thanks for watching liking subscribing and all that stuff stay kind and encouraging out there and i'll catch you on the flippity flip